So City of Phoenix just um, had a um, proposal to put a resolution into the City of Phoenix. And here's what it was about. Um, Roe falls. And so there's all this confusion in the state of Arizona as to like, well, what laws apply? Because you get the pro-life establishment that has actually added bills that say you can kill up to this at this week, but not afterwards, right? So you've got the pro-life establishment saying, "Are right, you can kill babies, but you can't kill them uh, uh, after this point. And so that's a problem for the state of Arizona because they have to contend with the fact that the pro-life establishment has actually given bills of permission, right? But you also have old laws, never stricken from the record, never taken off the books. Uh, Arizona's uh, statute 13-3603 that actually says it's a criminal act uh, for the abortionist to do it. Um, and it's also criminal even to advertise, mm-hmm. um, to do it and to, you know, advertise medication, all that stuff. So it's, you know, sort of a big moment in Arizona right now, like we're rose out of the way. So which state laws apply? Right. And so, um, there's big confusion right now over AZ statute 13-3603, the law that says the abortionist can't do it. Um, so we've had like this court battle going on where like they say, okay, it is standing. Then like, no, it's not standing. Okay. It is standing. And then, okay, no, we're going to fight against that. So it's all up in the air, but the city of Phoenix is ruled by leftists. Mostly a bunch of leftist women, actually mostly. And, um, and so with that, the city of Phoenix called a meeting with the mayor, vice mayor and others, council members to talk about, um, putting in something, a resolution that would say, that the city of Phoenix legislature government wants the city of Phoenix PD to deprioritize any phone calls that report abortions going on. Okay. So think about that. Um, They're saying, well, we don't like the fact that um, the law technically says you can't do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to instruct the police department to deprioritize or ignore. That's essentially what it is. Ignore, Mm -hmm. ignore the phone calls that report violations of the law that says that you can't kill children in Arizona. That's what they did. That's what they did. So we showed up and I want to just say for the record, very important uh, for the record, we showed up and the ACLU was there. Uh, One of the directors of uh, Planned Parenthood in uh, Arizona was Mm -hmm. there. A bunch of pro-choicers were there. um, And this is nothing to boast about. It was actually very disheartening. The only people that were there at the city of Phoenix to speak out against what they were trying to do was Apologia Church. And we had a number of people there that day, a lot. And they spoke. And I'm so proud of them. And it's so blessed to be part of a church of such courageous people and such faithful people. And they preached the gospel. They preached the gospel. They were articulate. They were humble. They were calm. But they were also clear in their communication of the gospel. And what they were saying couldn't be touched by the council. Couldn't be touched by anybody else in the audience speaking and it for this resolution. But it was disheartening to, to see that the city of Phoenix is telling the police department to deprioritize or ignore the phone calls that report abortions going on in violation of the state law that would be standing.